back at Longbridge for round two and again it is wet. <laughs> unpacked in the pissing rain now I've got to try and get my rods out but to be fair I don't even know if I've got any rigs so that might be bad hello again formally say hello again welcome back to the YouTube YouTube it is on YouTube the UK Fisher Woman YouTube I really hurt my finger what the hell I'll take this off it's bloody wet so we are all set up not the rods, rods aren't set up, but I've got the bivvy up, got everything in the bivvy. It's a late start today, guys. It's about half past five. Yeah. I didn't really know if I was even going to come, to be fair. It was kind of like I was umming and ahhing, but I thought, why not get out there? I don't know if I've got any rigs. I think I might need to make some new rigs. Um, fingers crossed I don't, because I really just want to take this like a really slow lazy session i'm really not bothered if i catch I'm kind of just using this session as more of like an escape to be honest and a little bit of a clear of the brain so we're not gonna we're not gonna try too hard um not gonna get too serious and once again like i say it is raining um but there's not really much we can do about that we live in england don't we i realized well i didn't realize one of you guys realized and commented on one of my why can't I speak? Like, I really should just, like, think before I speak. One of you guys commented on my video, my first video that I put out last week, saying that I didn't introduce myself, <laughs> which was a very fair point. I should really in introduce myself. Right, so, my name is UK Fisherwoman. That is not my birth name, of course. Select few people, quite a few people know my real name. I kind of did, like, the UK Fisherwoman thing just because I wanted to stay on the down low. I didn't really want people knowing my real name, where I was from, blah, 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 blah. But that kind of, that's kind of just gone out of the window. So if you know my real name, big up to you. We've got to stick with the UK Fisherwoman. We've got to stick with it because that's what we, that's what we started as. So we're going to stay as. I've been fishing since about 2021, summer 2021. I won't get too much into the reason why as to why I started, um, but what you can do if you are interested in that, then you can go and read um, my section on the Talking Carp magazine. It is issue 83, if I am remembering that correct. If not, I'll put it somewhere. I, I literally went through it from, from the beginning to up to now. Um, so if you're really, really interested in how I got here, then you can go and read that. But for now, let's get try and get the rods out without getting too wet. What? I completely forgot to clean my rods off last time that we were here. And if you remember the last time we were here, there was loads of algae. Your girl has green rods. Oh. Well, that's not good, is it, really? It's my own fault. I really should have cleaned them after my session, but I didn't because I'm lazy. And it's all tangled. And it's all tangled. Let me come back to you. Right, there we go. We have untangled the tangle. I guess it's a case of trying to get this algae off of my rod because I don't like that there. Not where it's supposed to be. 
what I have got some toilet tissue. So we're going to use this to clean the rods. Because look at it all on here, honestly. Devastating, like it really is devastating. I'm just going to get a bit of water and then. What? It's not coming off. What? I'm going to have to sit there and proper scrub for like ages to get that off. Well, I managed to get all of the algae off of my rods. So now I've got to do my rigs. Luckily, yeah, like I was saying, I didn't know if I had two rigs or not. My memory is absolutely atrocious. But yes, have one, have two. And I've both, I've both checked the hooks. I've checked both the hooks. Um, both of them are fine. I'm happy with them. So I'm just going to get re hook baiting those and then we'll get them out. Today I'm going for a wobbly. Today I'm going for a very different, not a very different approach, but a different approach to what I've been doing for the past year or so. I haven't used Scopex squid in about a year or so. What I used to catch on all the time down here. Um, so yeah, I thought, why not? Why not go back to it, see if it still works. If it, works one, if it worked one time, it will work again. The Scopex squid pop-ups in yellow, 15 millers. Um, I've got some 20 mil boilies. The only reason I've got 20 mil is because it's the only, it's the only ones that they had in stock. Um, I'm just gonna be chucking over a few whole, few half, few crushed onto my spots. Same as we did last week. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed, but like I say, I'm not bothered. I'm just, I'm just here to, to relieve myself. Oh, that sounded weird. Tackle box. I don't think I need this actually. Don't need that. What I do need is my little pouch. It's got all my, my bits and bobs in it. Bait and needle. Bait floss. Skizzers. Right, so... The rig of choices for today is spinners. You know I love my spinners. It's what I caught on last time. It's what I trust. So yeah, we're just going to stick with what I know and what I trust. Oh, sorry if, like, the angle's been all over the place this video so far. I still haven't got a tripod yet. Um, but in the very, very, very near future, I am purchasing a camera and a tripod. So it can only get better, guys. We're starting from the bottom, all right? But you guys absolutely loved my first video. I just, I really did not expect it to do as well as it did. So thank you so much for that. Yep, let's go peck Squiddy. They're very soft. Where's my lighter before I do that? could be bad there she is i was gonna go for a cat this session but now i don't know if i'm like going against it i haven't even shown you my swim so this is my swim um very bushy very overgrown i'm on the back of the island so i'm literally like on a little channel per se there's the opening to the lake um that's the island and i'm just just tucked behind it and just just behind this tree here is again the other opening to the main bit of the lake it was that corner that i had the cat off last time and it decided to come down the back of the island and not into the main lake of course but yeah this this is home base for the next 24 hours i haven't really fished the back of the island much to be fair as you guys know i do love my ditch but I haven't been in there in a while because I want to start fishing parts of the lake that I don't fish um, or that other people don't fish, to be honest, just for kind of obvious reasons. But yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to leave it for the cats. We're not going to go for the cats today. I can't be bothered to deal with fighting a catfish behind an island. Right, so this rig's all prepped. Literally just, oh God, a single Scopex squid pop-up on a spinner rig. I haven't got any tubing on this one. 
oh you know what we're leaving it as it is we're being lazy today guys if we catch we catch <laughs> so i haven't actually decided where i'm putting my rigs i haven't planned this out whatsoever and i've kind of done that on purpose like i feel like sometimes when i put too much pressure on myself i try too hard and then i end up messing up but then the times when i'm like mm, i don't care if i catch i end up catching i've got a set of pads right in front of me which could be an issue but again i'm really not that fast to my alarms out completely forgot to put my alarms out with my new batteries if you watched last week's video you'd know that my one of my alarms died and I only ended up using one rod for majority of the sessions so that was fun only one of them died but I'm gonna change them both just so that then then they're kind of at like the same battery life if that makes sense that one is done. Come on. Come on. Can't get it out, guys. Why did I take my bobbin off? And why have I got a rig? Oh. We done it. In the end, eventually. All right, I just got that rod out. Well, I did before I put the alarms out because I'm stupid. Essentially, I've got it right about in front of this little situation going on here and i've had it out and while i was setting up my net i had like a mini run it went like but then i come over here and absolutely nothing i mean if it beeps at least once again then i will pick it up because it's possible that there's a bream on it what i'm going to do for now is i'm just going to put some boilies over the top and then we'll get the second rod out I'm just going to do the exact same with this rig. Normally I do like same but different. Like I'll use two two wafters but they'll be different colour or I'll try two different flavours. But today I'm just going to do the exact same thing which is something that I don't do before. So it might actually work out better but we never know until we try eh. We'll just see what happens. I'm really sorry that this video isn't going to be the most exciting the most yeah like exciting like there's not going to be a lot going on to be honest guys because like i say it's a chilled one pop-up that's another thing i never normally use pop-ups i normally use wafters see that one has got putty on it This one I'm just gonna ch I'm just gonna put in front of a falling down tree that's in the water. I'll show you where I put it once I've put it out. But guys, trust me, as soon as I get a tripod, this will all be so much easier. But we've all got to start somewhere. Both the rods are out. Oh, that's annoying how it's hanging over there. I know that will really annoy me, you guys. So yeah, I've got that one over to the island. Um, and then I've also dropped one just kind of like here near this falling down situation. Just going to get some boilies out on top um, and then we wait. And now we play the waiting game, the dreaded waiting game. I'm just going to do like a little and off. There's my speech at it again, guys. Just going to do a little and often tactic. So like a small handful on each spot every kind of hour, I guess. And then we'll just play it by ear on how that goes. There we go. All done. Back in the bivvy. Because obviously, of course, as soon as I decide to leave, it starts to rain again. Seems quite quiet on the lake today. I haven't heard really any... Oh, wait. course that's died now at least kind of everything dies at the same time that's kind of like handy i guess rigs are just stuck to everything and i'm honestly 
so unorganised. <laughs> now and I'm getting tired I didn't actually sleep last night at all like there was not a single minute that I was asleep last night and then I had to be up and out the door by just before six to go to work so that was fun I'm gonna get in my sleeping bag I'm gonna get warm chill out watch some YouTube and then yeah I think I might just let myself drift to sleep drift to sleep drift drift off to sleep drift off go to sleep if i get a fish obviously i'll let you know but hopefully this is not the last time that i speak to you before i wake up in the morning hopefully the next time i speak to you is when i've got a fish fingers crossed if not no night good morning everybody oh, it's a bit windy this morning um, such a late start for me this morning. I had the biggest lay-in I think I've ever had on the bank. Half past nine. Jeez, it's bloody sunny and hot and my eyes have not adjusted to anything yet. Oh, I'm tired. But yeah, look. It's lovely and sunny. Teach my soul to sing your song Even when my eyes can't see When I can't seem to carry on I know your hand is guiding me I know your hand is guiding me in i think i might have had a fish last night guys and i completely missed it one reason being this decided to break again in the middle of the night even though it was working absolutely fine for hours so it looks like i'm gonna need to get some new alarms and when i just went to go pull out my right hand rod that was the rod that i had towards the island behind the pads um yeah, it was in the pads, and I just had to pull it out of the pads. I got my rig back and everything absolutely fine, but clearly I had a fish, and it done me, put me straight in the pads, and I didn't know about it. Got a rig here, the one without the tubing on it. What I'm going to do is because of... the fact that I've been using the Scopex squid, um pop-ups and boilies it and it just hasn't really been hasn't actually well it might have got me a bite to be fair but I don't really know that because of what happened last night so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a live system on what I normally use what I know works I'm just gonna we're gonna make one rod all live system like we normally do see if we can nab one before we go it would be nice to catch today and in this video it would be nice but you never know it's so warm guys it's meant to be raining all day today and it's hot oh for f sake there we go all right well they're all set up again for this morning i um, don't really know what i'm gonna do to be honest i think i'm just gonna leave them there well it's very quiet it's been a very quiet session i mean like i was saying uh yesterday i i'm not really too bothered about catching i just really wanted to get out just to kind of relieve some stress and just be out out in the peace so i'm, I'm glad that i've done that 
I don't know what time I'm going to be staying here till. I have got until about six o'clock. I don't know if I'll be doing that long. I'm really tired. Guys, one's just done me in the snag. And I had to snap it off. I heard my left hand rod going off, which was the one here. Picked it up, instant bend, but then it's gone straight into here and it's hooked me onto one of these twigs and snapped me off. Lost one, guys. Well, to be fair, guys, that could be the second one lost. We're not doing too well today, are we? Guys, that's devastating. I can't believe we've actually lost one. We've lost the rig, we've lost everything. <gasps> I don't think I've got a lead. Ed, can't use that, can I? Or can I? Yeah, I should be able to use that. I'm going to. Tubing is on. <sighs> lead clip. I'm actually devastated about that. There we go. Slip D. I oh, got that rod back out. I'm sorry I didn't take you guys to show me, but it's just started raining again. So yeah, well, I've just put it back on the spot. Right there. Same tactic with the bait in, but yeah, it's it just done me straight into there. It's what you get when you're fishing close to snags. I'm just in snag snag heaven here still been very quiet guys nothing has changed since the last time that i spoke to you other than it's a couple hours later i'm quite devastated that i lost that fish but it is what it is things happen i don't know if i touch that or not anyway i'm gonna start packing up now because i'm getting picked up in half an hour I'm tired, I'm hungry, I seem to never be able to be prepared on fishing trips. I think before I go out again, we need to reevaluate our planning. <laughs> it decides to piss it down with rain when I'm just packing away my bed chairs all out there getting wet I've had to wheel my barrow into my bivy because it was getting that wet it was just absolutely hammering it down and now it just wants to stop and go all sunny again <laughs> up ready to go didn't manage to nab one i do think i lost two which is very upsetting but we won't talk about that thank you so much for watching i didn't actually get to formally end the video last week so i'm glad that we're able to do that so thank you so much for watching see you all next week bye